See that? It was your mother's favorite passage. It's from the Bible. Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. She always loved that. All right, come on. Let's go see if your little friend Amada wants to play. Experiment to prepare. We prepare this line. Surprise! Surprise! Stanley, you turned the lights on too fast. You blinded the poor kid. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Can you believe it? He is growing up so fast. Happy birthday, pal. I can't believe you're already ten. I'm so proud of you. If only your Congratulations, mother. young man. I don't have to tell you how special this day is, do I? Down here in Vault 101, when you turn 10, well, you're ready to take on your first official vault responsibilities. So here you are. As overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip-Boy 3000. Get used to it. You'll be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. <laughs> Enjoy your party. You're only ten once, so have fun. Happy birthday! We really surprised you, didn't we? <laughs> Your dad was afraid you were on to us. But I told him not to worry. You're so easy to fool. You're welcome. But really, your dad did most of it. I just helped with the decorations and stuff. Hey, I bet you can't guess what I got you for your birthday. Go on, guess! I knew I'd surprise you. Who's your favorite barbarian? That's right, Grognak, issue 14, and with no missing pages. I found this in a box of my father's old things, believe it or not. Imagine him reading comic books. I guess everybody was 10 once. Well, I better let you get back to mingling with your guests. We'll talk later, okay? Happy birthday. Oh man, you got a pit boy. I wish I was 10. Hey, uh, thanks for inviting me. Really cool party and everything. I know that, uh, Butch and I give you a hard time, but you don't take that seriously, right? Anyway, uh, happy birthday and everything. I better get back to, you know. What, are you two best friends now? Hey, whoa! Attention, I everyone! Think Paul's gone it's soft time to talk to Kate. Yeah, Paul. Why don't you introduce us to your new best friend? Oh, 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 Having a good time? Oh, it wasn't easy oh, keeping this great. a secret. Mortified I about the... I'm sure everyone else would like a chance. Who do you think we should call her again? I hope you appreciate the effort Amata put into this party. She really seems to like you, for some reason. Don't presume too much on her friendship, young man. I'm still the overseer, and I'm still in charge of this vault and everyone in it. It's gotta be totally killer. Oh. Are you having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Goodness, listen to me ramble. You're waiting for your present, aren't you? Fiddlesticks. What ten-year-old doesn't like presents? I was ten once, believe it or not. My goodness, the vault was practically crowded back then. Not like today. So few young people now. But here I am rambling on again, and you listening so politely. Here you go. A nice sweet roll that I baked for you just this morning. And it's all for you. No sharing required today. Hey. Hey, how about the vault dwellers? Get it? Who wants to go around Happy, all day Daddy, Happy birthday, Sonny. Sometimes I think you really are as I dumb as you look. I know you were joking, but I'm... I 
I'm hungry, and that stupid robot destroyed the cake. Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady Palmer. You what? Dang, I love those sweet rolls old lady Palmer makes. You little... Just stay out of my way, you got it? Not sure anyone nice else did. Nice pit boy. What Nonsense. is that? This party's pretty good, I guess. For a little kid. Balloons, party hats. Not as cool as my party, though. Remember how my dad got Andy to do magic tricks? And we all played Hunt the Mutant in the atrium? Oh, right. You weren't invited to my party. Too bad, man. It was really fun. People always enjoy my little How's it go speeches. Listen, once you have finished being a good host, a I have something I want to show you. Fun and games. Ugh, this is supposed to be a party, you know? Fun? You should try it sometime, Daddy. Enjoying you yourself? Might like it. Enjoying yourself? What'd Butch want? I thought you were in trouble there for a second. Wow, you're so tough. You'll have to teach me how to do that sometime. He's not worth worrying about anyway. Most likely to end up a trash burner, right? Hey, Paul, your hobby's open. Whoa, that's your hobby? <laughs> do you think we surprised quit. him? Give me an idea I'm for sure what to name our model. game. Never suspected um, a thing. The now go cringe? on and enjoy yourself. Paul, you what really are butch? as dumb as you look. I don't think Sam sounds like a strong enough to with that with pit the water boy. Purifier. Come on, Wally. Everything's you always fine, have I good hope. ideas. Oh, sure, nothing yeah, to worry about. Me I and got Andy one. got her all fixed up again last night. Good as new. Super cool, right? I wasn't worried. Jeez, Wally, you can Who's fix that anything, in the game. Right? You or me. Anyway, no way. I'm glad you can make hey, it. Hey, happy birthday, nosebleed. <laughs> How are you enjoying the party, Mrs. Palmer? I help with the decorations, you know. Oh, really? They're lovely. Enjoying yourself? Enjoying yourself? Hello, Officer Gomez. I'm glad you could make it. Hey, Paul, I'm glad to be open. here. I think it's important Whoa, to keep in touch with the hobby? young people, you know, as part <laughs> okay. of my job. Give me an well, idea for what to I'd name like your Jonas? Hey, Doc. Uh, sure thing. We're all set down here. Jonas. Well, it's been nice Thanks. chatting Paul. with you. I'll send him right <laughs> down. Hey, that was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise present. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. There's face. Happy birthday, dearie. My goodness, I hope I didn't miss the party. They sure did. My, my. Ten years old already? Why, I can remember helping your dad change your diapers. And now look at you, a great big grown-up ten-year-old with your very own Pip-Boy. Since this was such a special occasion, do you know what I did? I wrote you a poem, just for you. I hope you like it. Of course, run along now, dearie, and have yourself a wonderful birthday. What are you doing down here, young? Man? I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. Hey, relax. I was just teasing. Listen, now that you're ten, you don't have to take guff like that from grown-ups anymore. Got it? <laughs> Hold on one more minute. I think your dad will want to give you the surprise himself.
Are you ready for your surprise? The Overseer gave you your Pip-Boy, and you're old enough to do some work, so... I figure you're old enough for this. Your own BB gun. It's a little old, but it should work perfectly. Jonas found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. It took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch misplaced that switchblade of his. <laughs> so, what do you think? Want to give it a try? Easy now. It's only a BB gun, but it's not a toy. Let's go try it out. Jonas and I have found a nice spot for you. Follow me. Well, what do you think? You can come down here and shoot any time you want. Couldn't have done it without Jonas's help. You make sure to thank him. Careful, it's a rad roach. Think you can take care of that with your BB gun? Just aim and shoot. You'll be fine. Good work. That's one less round roach to deal with. Let's get a picture together. Capture the moment. Hey, Jonas, get a picture of me with a big game hunter. Smile! Boys and girls have different parts. What is your problem right? anyway? So I'm the overseer's daughter, so what? That like, I get any great. kind of special Tell treatment. Me. Revelation 21 6. I am Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end. As far as I can tell, you're a perfectly healthy 16-year-old boy. So yes, you have to go to class to take your GOAT exam. Go on now. You've got a GOAT to take. The Generalized Occupational Aptitude Test. GOAT. Everyone here in the Vault takes it when they're 16. Helps to figure out what sort of a job you'll have here in Vault 101 when you get a bit older. So, pay attention and try not to fall asleep. You know what the Overseer says? We are born in the Vault, we die in the Vault. Each is tested to determine their abilities that they may work for the betterment of all Vault residents. Huh. Sound familiar? Hey, it's not my call. Those are the rules. You're 16 now, so this year you take the goat. Come on, it's not so bad. Everyone has to take it. You'll do just fine. That's not the way it works, and it won't do to go around asking questions like that, especially not around the Overseer. I want to tell you something now. It's important, so listen closely. This place, this vault, it's not perfect, I know, but it is your home. You're safe here. Stay on the Overseer's good side, and you always will be. You understand? You need to appreciate all you have, because what's up there on the outside... That's not the life I want for you. And it's not what your mother wanted for you either. That's what the Overseer says, isn't it? He's not about to let anyone else in, so I guess that's how it'll have to be. You're here now, and it's a hell of a lot better than being up there. All your mother and I ever wanted was for you to be safe. And you're safe here. Your mother, she... She was beautiful, but beyond the beauty you've seen. There's just so much those old photos can never show. And she was passionate about life, about love. But most of all, most of all, she was passionate about you. When she became pregnant, it was the happiest I had ever seen her. Ah, oh, she had great things in mind for you. And so, time for you to stop stalling and get to class. Please, son, please, take these achievement tests seriously. The last thing I need is your mother's ghost haunting me because her only child became a, a garbage burner. Take care, son. Now get out of here, and good luck.
Good morning. Stopped in to see the old man Get before class, way, eh? Stupid tunnel snakes. I can show you a real tunnel snake, Amada. God, Butch, why don't you just leave me alone? Yeah? What do you want? Remember, only you can prevent fatal work-related injuries. Only the baddest gang in Vault 101? Like you don't know. We rule this vault, and what we say goes. You'll stay out of our way if you know what's good for you. None of your business, kid. Get out of here before you get hurt. If you mess with the tunnel snakes, you're asking for it. Got me? Maybe you're right. We can deal with her later. Come oh, on, tunnel God, snakes. This little bitch isn't worth our time. Whatever you say, Butch. You're the boss. Tunnel snakes rule. Fine, let's go. Thanks for getting rid of them. <sighs> Assholes. I don't know why they won't leave me alone. Just because my father is the overseer, I guess? Idiots. I was just going over. I'd just like to keep an eye on it. No problem. I'll have my report ready this afternoon. Hey, Susie, what's new? Let me know if it... Well, you made it. All set for the goat? Trust me, it really isn't that bad. Just something everybody has to go through. I'm sure you will, especially since it's multiple choice with no wrong answers. We'll start as soon as everyone's found a seat. Good luck. Get out of my face. Well, now that everyone has managed to find the classroom, we can finally get started. No talking, and keep your eyes to yourselves. <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you, Mr. Deloria. Sure thing, Mr. Brach. Unless anyone else has an insightful comment, let's get started. Question one. A frenzied vault scientist runs up to you and yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? Question two. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Question three. You discover a young boy lost in the lower levels of the vault. He's hungry and frightened, but also appears to be in possession of stolen property. What do you do? Question four. Congratulations. You've made one of the Vault 101 baseball teams. Which position do you prefer? Question five. Your grandmother invites you to tea, but you're surprised when she gives you a pistol and orders you to kill another vault resident. What do you do? Question six. Old Mr. Abernathy has locked himself in his quarters again, and you've been ordered to get him out. How do you proceed? Question seven. Oh no, you've been exposed to radiation, and a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course of treatment?
Question 8. A fellow Vault 101 resident is in possession of a Grognak the Barbarian comic book, issue number one. You want it. What's the best way to obtain it? Question 9. You decide it would be fun to play a prank on your father. You enter his private restroom when no one is looking and... Question 10. Who is indisputably the most important person in Vault 101? He who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland and to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. Pencils down, people. That's it. The infamous goat. I'm sure most of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well, there are always openings in the maintenance department. Don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. You don't want to know what happens to people who fail the goat. You can have the rest of the day off to celebrate or to pray as the situation warrants. I've got other things to do. Here you are, Mr. Brach. I hope I did okay. Nothing for you to worry about, Miss Almodovar. Let's see. Very well done. Looks like it's the supervisory track for you. Thanks. See you tomorrow. Get out of my face. We'll talk to your little friend late. Yo, teach. I'm done. Ah, Butch. Can I admit that I've been waiting for this day for a long, long time? Allow me to savor the moment. Now then, let's see. Hmm. Really? Interesting. You surprised me, Butch. I didn't think you had it in you. Hairdresser! Who would have thunk it? You're so full of it. That isn't true. I've got other things to do. I'm all done, Mr. Brach. I guess. Uh, wait a second. Can I have it back? I think I need to change one of my answers. Just calm down a minute, Paul. I'm sure you have nothing to worry about. Let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Yep, just as I thought. You're slated for the engineering track. Congratulations, Mr. Hannon. You've passed the GOAT. Oh, gee. That's not so bad. Engineering, all right. Mother can't wait to find out if I'll be going into science or home economics. Science. Uh, well, perhaps. Let's see what the goat says. Well, well. Maintenance department. I hope your mother will be pleased. I'm sure Stanley will be. What? That's impossible. I'm... Bye. Right now, I don't pay any attention to you. You really want to keep it that way, okay? All finished? They say the goat never lies. According to this, you're slated to be the next vault chaplain. God help us all. Yes, um, it's refreshing to see such, uh, youthful enthusiasm. Good to know that the goat occasionally gets it right. You know what they say about monkeys and typewriters. Well, I'm glad things turned out so well for you. I hope your classmates find their results half as satisfying.
Back off. Snake life forever. Right Anything is possible, even an egg. Daddy's dying. He's safe <laughs> now. Is he? So what are you going to do now? Selfish and insubordinate. Look, just wake up. You need Come to on, know wake up. Things. I'm not going to be around to hold your hand forever. Come on. You've got to wake up. You've got to get out of here. Your dad is gone and my father's men are looking for you. He's left the vault. I don't know how, but he's gone. And my father, he's kind of gone crazy. I thought so too, but it's true. He's gone and Jonas is dead and now they're looking for you. My father's men think Jonas helped your dad escape. They caught him and brought him to my dad's office and they... Oh my God. Yeah, it's lucky I got here ahead of them, but we can't stand here talking. You've got to get out of here. I'm sorry, but I think you'll have to follow your dad. You'll have to escape from the vault. Listen, maybe it isn't any of my business, but didn't your dad tell you that he was leaving? Oh, I'm sorry. I I'm sure he had his reasons. Maybe Jonas was supposed to explain everything to you? But it doesn't matter. I can help you escape. I have my own plan. Listen, there's a secret tunnel that leads directly from my father's office to the exit. You'll have to hack the computer in his office to open it. Use these to get into his office. That's how I always get in. Oh, one more thing. I stole my father's pistol. I hope you won't need it, but you'd better take it just in case. Okay, I'll try to meet you at the exit. Watch out for security. Good luck! I'll meet you at the vault door if I can, but don't wait for me. There he is. Hold it right there. Crime any more roaches. You like that? You gotta help me. My mom's trapped in there with the rat roaches. No, I can't go back. Oh my. Hey, you're the best friend I've ever had, man. Hey, I know it isn't much, but I want you to have my Tunnel Snakes jacket. Go ahead, take it. Son, I just want to talk to you for a minute. Oh, you're lucky it was me who found you. The others won't be so forgiving. I don't know what you're up to, and I, I don't want to know. Just, just clear out of here, and I'll pretend I never saw you. It's a real shame it's come to this. I can't believe what they did to Jonas. Officer Mack was just 
out of control. But you're a good kid. You didn't do anything to deserve this. Go find your dad if you can. It's our only chance, don't you see? We're getting out of here, just like the doctor. I'm not gonna let anyone stop us. It's me! Tom! Oh. Be careful! Tom what? Tom! No! So Mac may enjoy this, but I don't. Jonas, I need to record this first. I... I don't really know how to tell you this. I hope you'll understand, but I know you might be angry. I thought about it for a long time, but in the end, I decided it was best for you not to know. So many things could have gone wrong, and there's really no telling how the Overseer will react when he finds out. It's best if he can blame everything on me. Obviously, you already know that I'm gone. It was something I needed to do. You're an adult now. You're ready to be on your own. Maybe someday things will change and we can see each other again. I can't tell you why I left or where I'm going. I don't want you to follow me. God knows life in the vault isn't perfect, but at least you'll be safe. 
Just knowing that will be enough to keep me going. Don't mean to rush you, Doc, but I'd feel better if we got this over with. Okay, go ahead. Goodbye. I love you. I didn't think I would make it. My, my, my father, he, I, my officer Mac, I, I didn't tell them anything, I swear. When the warning sirens came on, they all ran out. I, I guess that was you? I, I see you got the door open, that's good. You're right, I understand. It was crazy for me to think you could stop them. What's important is that you made it. You got the door open. Don't worry about me. Whatever happens, I'm sure I'll be in less danger than you. I can't imagine what you're gonna find out there. Go on, before anyone comes. Find your dad, I'll... I'll miss you. You've been a good friend. I knew you'd turn up sooner or later. Look out! There's more where that came from! <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Oh! Ugh. Socks, that was close. Ah. Oh. 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 The overseer won't talk. Oh. Kind of the oh. 